Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Announced Edition and welcome to episode 26. I'm going to resume where we left last time, which is after defeating Devorn, which was quite a fight. Um, so yeah, let's plunder this, this area since we are at it. Okay, already finding some nice stuff. Fortunately, the best piece of it, the cloak of the evil archmage. Archmage, we cannot really use it. It's a shame. Oh, Stefan, who is it? I don't suppose he's hostile. You, you killed Devorn! Oh, please don't kill me! Please, oh please, oh please! I'm just his apprentice, I swear! I don't know anything! Okay, I know a little, but I was only his student! Honest! I can I can help you! Yeah, I can give you information! Ask me something! Go on, ask me anything! Who are you? What was your role here? I told you I'm just Devorn's apprentice! I studied under him, and that's it! Didn't know anything about anything. Well, I know a little. Uh, what was the purpose of this installation? The mine. Uh, I think they were going to try to look like the savers of the day, riding in with the stores of iron to equip the troops or something like that. With the bandit raids and the rumors about arms, the Iron Throne feared that the Dukes of Baldur's Gate would think they needed arms and or quickly case of Amnian attack. They, they feared they could get exorbitant prices, or better yet, sanctions against competitors and an easing of trade laws for themselves only. A quick way to install themselves as an underground power in the coast. That's all I know about it as well. Who was behind the iron shortage? Who was behind it? Well, the Iron Throne, I guess. Devorn ran this place for the regional bosses in Baldur's Gate. They used some strange potion to taint iron stored, used mule to keep new iron from being mined, and had the bandits raid any uh, the bandits raid any incoming trades caravans. It doesn't take long for perceived shortages to embellish with the threats. You know all of this if you are the one who killed Mule. Can I go no Iron? Uh, who was Devon's superior? Who really gives the orders around here? I don't know, I swear it. What I can say is that the regional leaders of the Iron Throne placed Devon here. There are three of them, I think, but I know them, don't know their names. Devon was getting orders from someone else too. He complained about it a lot, but he never said the name or anything to me. Honest, the main building for the Iron Throne is in Baldur's Gate, somewhere in the southwest of the city. But I've never been there. Tell you true. Can I please go? Get out of my sight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise not to get involved with people like this again, no matter how good the fringe benefits are. Yes, sir, I'm sh reasonably sure I will be careful from now on. Thank you, goodbye. Okay, so we know that we have to go to Baldur's Gate because the leaders of the Iron Throne are there. Okay. More scrolls. What scrolls are these? Well, this is uh, Lalox Mano Drain. This is Blur. Then we have a chest here. Oh, there's a um, there's an elevator here. What are where it leads to? Uh, Iman yep. probably. Lockpick failed! I cannot believe it. Can we force it? No. Okay. That's a shame. 
Uh, could have been some nice things in there. Uh, I don't know if I have any open lock. Spell, I don't think, knock, I think it's called knock. Oh, a master jelly. Uh, I think they are dangerous. Yeah, what well, well, is it? It slows, it deals a ton of damage. Okay. 2000 experience points. Not bad, and level up. That's I like. I stand ready. Oh, yeah, we can. Hmm? Okay, anyway. Oh. Knock. Okay, knock spell. Uh, can can you learn it? Oh, she can, she can. So probably. Perfect. We're going to rest here, I think. Uh, what about here? Oh, this is already open. Detect invisibility and some other scrolls. Uh, potion of Master Thievery. Huh? So that three, I don't know why I'm carrying it. And potion of perception. Fire breath, explosions. Who's carrying the potion bag? Yeah, these are better. Uh, fire breath. Okay. Oh no, I cannot store the book. It's all right. Uh, so let's open this. I yeah, think it we're done. done. Uh, locked. Oh my goodness. Is this slow going to expire anytime soon? I don't know. I'm gone. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. These are good. These are good. Oh, this is Matthew Sassy Darrow. It's a very good thing to have. It's another. Level 2 spell competing for a spot, I'd say. Okay. Can you learn it? Yeah, perfect. Okay, I uh, think we're done. We could, we could rest, actually. And... Uh, Identify. Ah, uh, yeah. We, I really want a knock to to open the thing and flame arrow, which I didn't really use. Uh, but I have to say that haste is probably better. Uh no, this negates death and and the dispel magic because you you never know, right? About our two priestly friends, huh? um, let me see, probably. Probably a, another silence is all right. Probably no need for a for one of those drop on holy mites. That's this could be useful, but I, I'll keep a chant. Level three, nothing. Yeah, cure medium wounds. Okay. There are some interesting level three spells to be fair. Okay. Well, we can skip on and get uh, 
get a couple of blasts. Okay. Now let's rest. Oh yes. no, before we do that, let's level up. Level up, level what level? Okay, yes. Level six still. So hit points ten, it's a six. Okay. I'll take it. It's above average. Oh proficiency is lot. Yeah. So three it's master. High master to get an extra speed factor. No, an extra half attack should get to. Well, let's go for four. We'll have time later on to learn how to use other stuff. Okay. Okay, let's rest. Oh, some guards, really. Stand ready. I thought this area was safe. Let's try again. Tonight you dream of blood. Not of blood on a blade or the blood on your hands, but an ichor that runs as a torrent through the realms. A flood that pours across the fields and forests. An ocean that floats you to the world's edge and threatens to cascade off into the void. This blood seems a frightening thing. A massive force that sweeps away all resistance as a whole, it is a monster, and it cannot be stopped. Were it to be viewed from on high, it would seem to cover the entire world in its red-black embrace. You, however, do not have such a lofty perch. From within the deluge, you can see it does not move as one, but is filled with currents, eddies, and undertoes. Pockets of calm afford breathing space, whilst violent whirlpools threaten to rend limb from limb. Ultimately, it seems undirected and lacks a driving will, a quality you have in abundance. You may be caught within, but sufficient determination can shape what you need to survive. There are still options open, still choices to be made. As the tide presses forward, you steer as you wish, atop a ship called Persistence and under sails made of resolve. A sudden and deliberate wave puts an end to your course, and to the dream. It would seem that the Flood does have some will, and took offense to your enjoying the ride. Alright, so we... Okay, we got a dream, but we still haven't slept. <laughs> Okay, that's fun. Probably this is not the right place to to rest. Okay. Still we got our Okay. They should negate The slow effect? It kind of... <laughs> That's some wonky movement speed, Baklov. Okay. Uh, we haven't checked this. There's nothing. And here... Oh, there's another detect invisibility. All right. I don't recall. Have we checked this chest last time? Okay, we did. Okay, no time to rest, apparently. Uh, I really wanted to open this. Chest here. 
there has to be something interesting at least uh what does this lead to oh okay back to the first level that's a nice shortcut okay i see no more Not a problem. Okay, I think it's time to flood the place, which is. This group shows promise. Uh, let's see if I can sleep here. I really want to open the chest. <laughs> My Apparently, no. Okay. I wonder if you, could, if you could use this as an experienced crime method, but it's not really time efficient. Um, where did I came from? Hang on. I think I came from here. Didn't I? You must gather your party before venturing. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh how about sleeping here? Or rest outside, okay? Oh, good. Not a problem. We rested. Okay, now uh, I think I'll, I'll go down With ease. and reach uh, Devon's room. I'll see you there. And here we are. So let's hope it was all for nothing. Very so, Dianair, you should cast Knock. On this okay let's check it uh, oh my goodness I, I want of fear yes uh, all of that for a wand of fear it will be done okay time to unplug it time to flood it Hey there again, I see that you have the key. It must have been a bloody battle with the master, and you must be tough ones to have lived through it. And all right then, give the key and let's the, and let's be done with this. Oh, one more thing, you did talk to real, didn't you? So that all of the slaves could get out over here alive? Yes, we talked to real. No time to worry about your friends. They will be safe. Here's the key, now let's do it. Well then, I guess that's it then. As soon as I begin I open the plug, we're going to have to run for our lives, because otherwise we'll be washed away just like the uh, Orothian dwarves. Right then, here we go. You saved us. The rest of us fled to the north toward Bowler's Gate, but I elected to stay so as to thank you all of you. Without your heroics, who knows how long we'd be working that horrible mine. I'm just glad we didn't end up in the watery grave down there like the rest of the Iron Throne mercenaries. Two points in reputation. Okay, 2000 experience points, nice. It will be done. Okay, now if you try to go back, obviously you cannot. It says it's um proud to stand among such strong warriors. Yeah, we are 
all proud of ourselves, I suppose. Hey, Ayantis. Nice to see you. Hope everything is well. Okay, everybody's safe. That's good to hear. Okay, we'll move on then. Catch you later. So, uh, what can we do now? Hmm. Now, our objective is to go to is to go to Baldur's Gate, and that's what I'd like to do. Okay, we can actually travel through Cloakwood and check any missing part. Um, any, yeah. Okay, briefly do that. You have been waylaid by enemies and Seriously? Oh no! Ah, uh, this is bad. You need something? Okay. Yes. This is this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Um. You point, I punch. Okay, didn't work. They hit very hard. Yeah, why is it going for Branway? Brown isn't isn't good for tanking. Easily kiss the tank. Okay. Good. Fourteen hundred experience points, not bad. I stand ready. It will be done. And also we have some Weavern hats. Um, inventory is full, seriously. What are you carrying? Uh, lots of good stuff, actually. Uh, what is this? Hill Giant Strength? Yeah, we have so many things that we should sell, to be honest. Oh well. Looks like we can get these weavers quite easily. Oh, uh, can I use... No, I cannot. Inventory is full. Probably like this. Can you use it easily? No, inadequate intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's the problem I had with my previous playthrough. I miscalculated the rules and uh, I got my paladin quite will be done. stupid. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is the, the weaver's nest. Uh, uh, there's still the thing of the Tasloys who stole the who stole the cloak. Okay. I wonder where they are. We're going to do a little a little exploration, okay? Baby Weavern. I don't want to fight Weaverns. There's a where does a baby weavern? There are probably going to be more baby weavers. So I should deactivate the AI, or at least change the AI, Islix AI. Uh, yeah, not offensive spells, not defensive spells, not special abilities. Okay. Uh, I think he wasted a yes, good... Um, man spell that's a problem if someone starts casting a spell and then you change the order to attack and they they'll stop casting and the spell will still be consumed 
Now the baby weaver. Now the baby weaver. Okay. Uh, still no sign of the Tasloys, though. Cannot leave the area from. Uh, no, no, not going to fight any more Weaverns. This is not the place. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find any. A guard. Okay, this is strange. Many guards. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to find a. Uh, oh, of course. The Tasloys I'm looking for. Another baby weaver. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, let's retreat. There's no point in keep keep keeping going this way. There are just more weavers and I'm not interested in them. Okay, let me check. Uh we miss this area here, but there's this strange thing. What is this? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I I think I'll just leave the clo leave cloakwood and be done with it. Just making a mental note of oh no nope 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 um just making making a mental note of for instance this place i think we explored everything no sign of the tasloys i'll have to check it um off screen and come back just for them okay this this is promising They might be around here. Uh, look, I can I can quickly reach the end of the of the area. Oh, what is that? Wolves. I don't want to fight wolves. Okay, I'll come back another time. Okay, friendly army. Don't think that's. We can reach. We can go straight here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Don't want to leave you hanging too long. All right. Uh, we didn't explore a lot of this. This is where we, we met Ayantis. Remember? fun times now these farms are infested with ankex which we might actually hunt for their carapaces for the shells and uh, we can place custom orders with the smith in baragost to get that shiny green plate mail that baklav is wearing There's a cow, chicken. There's a farmer. Okay. Now, if you follow the road, oh, enemy sighted. 
where how oh an ankeg okay two ankegs that's bad okay uh let's have Easleek and vaklav charged in since they have the highest and also probably we could we could cast a haste come on haste sounds good uh brown i don't think you can we're going to rest anyway okay oh misk you missed the haste too bad Okay. Okay. Haste. Trumpets everything. Uh, trumps everything. Um, Ankeg shell. These are quite heavy. A hundred. Uh, we cannot carry many of them, unfortunately. I'm going to drop the Weaver heads. Because we are not going to take them anywhere. And as you can see, one Ankeg shell we can carry. Not too many. Uh, they're, they're very heavy. You need a couple of characters who are very strong. Two fighters with above 18 strength. Okay. I stand ready. Uh, yeah. Let's Please. leave then. We can get. We can come back here later. Don't worry. We we will be back. Gerd, who are you? Hello. Yeah. You've come here to fight Hankags. Well, listen up. It's mating season, so it's primarily females coming up to the surface. Look at the pawn on a little extra weight. They're hungry, they're aggressive, there are a lot of them. Now, the point of this exercise is not to exterminate them, but to keep the population to a manageable level. Remember, they aerate the soil and thereby improve crop yields by as much as 15%. Food is going to be scarce enough in the next few years, so keep that in mind when you're out, here, out there. No more than four ankegs per party. After that, it's catch and release, alright? Most of the activity starts about 50 yards to the east. Now move out, everyone. I'll keep an eye on things from here. <laughs> okay. A ranger. Yeah. A nankeg? No. We're going to avoid it. Okay. Imoyum wasn't affected by haste as well. Okay. And finally, we get here to the bridge. Everything is fatigued because of uh, haste fading out and we're also tired. Okay, so. We've never been here. There's, there isn't really much to, to see. There's just this immense bridge. And up until this point, you can get past it. Don't worry, we'll rest inside. We'll find ourselves a nice tavern or a inn and we'll sleep there. Don't worry. So this gate is normally closed and you cannot get past it. It's as simple as that. I recall if that if it's that gate or or this one, but anyway, worms crossing. Okay. Okay, flaming first. The entrance tax is six gold pieces for each party of travelers. Please announce your point of origin. The mystical land of frolicky naked nymphs, where your every desire is granted by bone blubbering bugbears. 
No. Uh, we're coming from... I'd say Baragost. You'll have to wait here. My commander wishes to have a word with you. Okay. Citizens, please step forward. Ah, Commander Scar. First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Scar, second in command of Flaming Fist. Though it is not necessary for you to reveal your names, please answer me this. Are you the group that was involved in the trouble at the Nashkel Mines? Yeah, that was us. Well, I have to say we made quite a commotion up here in Baldur's Gate. Can't really put my finger on a single source, but there have been many strange happenings going on within the city. It's been getting harder and harder for me to put trust in someone. I need outsiders to, some, to do some investigations. People with no connections to anyone within the city. Would you be interested in working for me in such capacity? Yes, of course. All right, then. What I'm about to tell you must be held in the strictest confidence. Do you understand? I need you to begin an investigation of the Seven Suns trading coaster. Ah, uh, we found something. We found some letters or a diary about the Seven Suns trading company being infiltrated by the Iron Throne. The Seven Suns leadership has been acting strangely of late. They've been selling off valuable assets and neglecting many of their more profitable trading ventures. Considering the importance that the trading coaster holds over the economy of the city, the Grand Dukes are noticeably upset. I've gone to talk to the coaster's head, Chasso. He rudely rebuffed me, telling me to mind my own business. I've known Chasso for many years, and this isn't his usual behavior. I can't start up an official investigation, as there is no real reason for doing so. That's why I need you. Um, we're ready to go for it, but there's something you need to know first. We think that the Iron Throne might be behind recent events along the coast. At the mines in Ashken and in Clockwood, we've learned much about the goals and methods of the Iron Throne. It doesn't bode well for the future of this region. Well, that sheds new light on things. There's nothing I can really do about it now, but I'll make sure to look into it. I want you to break, break into the Seven Suns compound and find what's wrong. Use stealth in your investigations. Don't want this operation to cause too much fuss. The most important person to watch for is Jasso. Once I found out as much as possible, report back to me at the Flaming Fist compound. Pay you 2,000 gold for this favor. The estate is located on the southwest side of town. We shall have you the best of luck. Remember, once you're done at the Seven Suns estate, it's imperative that you meet me at the Flaming Fist barracks, which are just west of the Seven Suns. Okay, so southwest and west of it. Okay, good. So we're being hired, and ah, uh, uh, quail, <laughs> quail. Let's talk to him. Hey ho there, fellow travelers! They look to be wanderers of the adventuring sort. Tell me, what direction call you? Um, I'm proceeding in a northern direction this day. It is the same for me. Surely this lends us a familial bond of sorts. Smart move we to travel as one, especially with the number of bandits in the area. Probably need to counterbalance of my own intelligence as well. No, I don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Shirley. <laughs> I suppose there will be no harm in you joining me. Well, I suppose I'll, I'll be on my way. Then, it, uh, then you, uh, you, you said yes. I mean, of course I come with you. My intellect and skill as a cleric will undoubtedly make your group much better than it is. Onward. Okay, Quill is an NPC that can join you. Doesn't come with much. Um, of a background. However, uh, one thing to note is, is that he is present as a normal NPC, not a mm, companion in the second game. We'll have a look at him. To In order to have a look at him, I think I'll drop Islik since he took Ayanti's place. What are you You've been good to me, friends. Bust some heads, will you? 
So, Quail. Quail is a cleric illusionist. He's a gnome, okay? He's a cleric illusionist. Uh, gnomes are special in that regard. They can be, they can multi-class to illusionist. So, they can be a multi-class specialized mage, gaining a lot of uh, spells, okay? So, he's a cleric illusionist. Um, well, a little bit of trivia, a little bit of spoiler. In the second game, we'll encounter him again, as I said, as a normal NPC. And his, his protege is another cleric mage. Okay, so makes sense. Um, he's chaotic neutral. Uh, I, I've never used him extensively, okay? Uh, so I don't know if he gels bonds well with a good aligned party he has good dexterity average constitution good intelligence and average wisdom it would have been better if wisdom and intelligence were, were switched and constitution like this is he has what 11 hit points level two the good thing is since he's a, both a cleric and a mage he gets a ton of spells like many spells okay the problem with this combination which is more apparent more um evident uh in in the second game um a character can only cast one spell per round so is either casting a cleric spell or a mage spell so while he has a lot of spell slots Let's put it that way. Uh, still, he, he cannot cover two rolls by his own because he won't be able to heal someone and cast sleep at the same time. He is not totally garbage, in my in my opinion. Uh, surely, oh, even though he can wear heavy armor because he's a cleric, don't do it because it won't cast magic spell uh, mage spells but uh, don't find him totally useless to be honest I, I quite like this combination of classes he, since he's a specialized mage is even better um it it's not great in the second game the second half of the second game because being a multi-class carter i really lose a step in progression compared to the to the other carter to specialize or dual class characters but as far as Baldur's gate one and the first half hypothetically speaking is not but uh, as well as um Baldur's gate one and probably siege of dragon spear he's he's okay not great stats okay it's just having a cleric illusionist in your inner party However, I'm not going to keep him. But just as usual, I wanted to show to show him. Yeah, some chicken. We can talk to him and tell him to. Walking alone in the Coastway Road. How smart is this? Okay. No, I don't call me Shirley. I should have guessed by your knuckle dragging gait and minuscule nose, you're a complete and utter moron, aren't you? Okay, still there though. Okay, off to Baldur's Gate finally. And yes, there are many, I think it's nine or maybe ten zones. No, nine. I think it should be nine. It's basically as large as a good portion of the map. Oh no, it's all Mister again. Good day to thee, young one. What a marvelous happenstance that we should cross, we should a crane cross paths, especially in such a grand city as this. Ah, I see by thine eyes that the, you, uh, the though no time for my right banter. It is true, our meeting was no accident, though I do honestly take pleasure in seeing thee again. It's good to see you again. What brings you here? 
Oh, all citizens of the Sorcos eventually passed through Baldur's Gate, and I knew you would as well. Forgive my continued meddling, but I believe it is warranted, especially considering the pressures thou art no doubt confronting. My pestering of thee certainly pales in comparison to the influence thou hast felt from others, including thy own myself. Gorion raised thee as best as he could, but tis hard indeed to overcome what is bred in the bone. Much more so in this case, I would imagine. What do you know of Gorion? He was along my friend, and we talked often, though less after he settled down with thee. He was quite a traveler in his day, though he never regretted his new role as foster father. He felt a stable childhood but would better prepare thee for, well, the problems that would eventually come. He cared deeply for thee. I hope this was not lost on you. He was a good man, though I would prefer to walk my own path. I, would not suggest, I was not suggesting that those should do otherwise. Whatever the motives, independence is always a wise course to follow. My worry is that thy lineage is harder to escape than most. Thou hast bad blood in thee, though Gorion did what he could to teach we thee well and true. Thou hast hungry blood within thee as well. It will not let you, thee go without a fight. For better or worse, what's bred in the bone will be that we will be that within time. I trust thou hast thou hast the will to face what is within thee. I know little what it is to come, but I will do what it is best. I am sure the future will be kind to thee. For now, I'll give thee my best wishes, and a few names that will serve thee well. Scar of the Flaming Fist is a good man, and well worth trusting. Good to know. His superior, Dukatan, is also a good sort. Both are to be lived when they speak. I take my leave and wish thee well. Okay, we read, yeah. met Scar and we got a, um, a mission. And good to know we can trust him. So, welcome to Baldur's Gate, finally. Lucky a yellow discount store? No, I'm looking for a, for a Neen, for a tavern. Okay. Yeah, because my, my friends are tired. Shop of Silence. I can't walk much further. Uh, don't the map. Yeah. Tavern and Inn. Okay. Here. Yeah. This is just a an ordinary tavern. Yeah, we're going to rest. Don't worry. I don't think there's anything peculiar in this one. There are many establishments, taverns in Baldur's Gate which are just non-descriptive like this one. It's just a tavern, okay. There are other taverns, okay. Uh, well, let's sleep. If you complain about the service, there's a wall out back that'll be glad to hear them. So would you like a drink? Yes. And despite the coziness, there, there are royal um, rooms. We can also get some something to drink and get some rumors. No rumor. No rumor. No rumor. Okay, I give up. Let's sleep. Okay. We all rested. We can resume our journey, even though briefly, because it it's be about done. time to wrap up. Now it's dark. Did you notice? So, um, map, okay. The compound of the seven, what was it? Seven seas, seven stars, seven suns, seven suns, southwest. So it should be here. Now, the thing is, you cannot jump into it, okay? You, you really had to, the first time you have to trace your path. 
to get there little by little, uh, map by map. Okay, that Niklos guy. What is this? Sorcerer's Sunrise. Oh, this is a magic shop. Let's let's briefly check it, okay? Halbazardrin or Dulinian? Yes. And who might you be then? Come to check out the words of old Halbazar? Well, be quick about it. And mind you don't get fidgety when we took payment. You knew when you came in door that my words were magical. Premium items demand a premium price. Let's see what you have. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell you a lot of things, probably off screen. Uh, arrows of biting. I have a few of those that are, that are very good. Arrows of fire plus two. Potions. Lots of potions. Fiery burning. Do you have any permanent equipment? Ooh, spells. Ooh, monster summoning. It's, it's, yeah, it's meh, to be honest. Can also identify also high level spells like confusion. Wand of fear. Okay, no wand of the heavens. This is a cleric, right? Ah, oh, flame strike. That's damaging. Ah, uh, could be interesting. It's eight d six of fire damage. That's not bad. One of monster summoning. Uh, it's twelve HD of monsters. Well, just can't afford it. Okay. Well, you know what? It's time. I think I'm going to stop here. Okay. Did you really think I was going to the Seven Suns compound in this episode? Uh huh. No. I'm going to save game. I'm going to save, and it's going to be B B G E episode twenty six. Thirty six days and seventeen. Well, traveling to and back Cloakwood takes away a. A quite a lot of time <laughs> so um all right save successful so thanks for joining me hope you enjoyed this video as usual and i'll see you again next time until then take care and goodbye